Now that we already have access to Power Apps interface, let's explore it a little more and see how to create, save and share our first app. Okay, this is going to be an introduction to the interface, it's not creating our app yet. So let's take a look and in the next section, we are going to start creating the app. Okay, here I am at make.powerapps.com and in the home and the create part, we have some shortcuts here. In the home, we have shortcuts to the apps and some ways to start creating an app. Also in the create, we have some shortcuts for creating a blank app, a app connected to Dataverse, SharePoint, Excel, or SQL Server that are several sources of data that we can connect to. So once you get more familiarized with the interface, you can start from here sometimes, but usually we start here from the apps part. Here we can see all the apps from our company all the apps that are inside this environment. Uh, please note that a company may have several environments and this one, the default environment, is the environment where everyone has access to build their own apps. But once you develop more important apps, your company may give you a separate environment so you can manage better the application and the users. This one, the default environment, is the one where everyone has access and can create their apps to facilitate the, their daily activities, but not for creating a very complex app that may be used for an entire department or more people, for example. Okay, just know this, keep that in mind, because once you progress in the future and you know more Power Apps, you may need this information. Okay, here you can see all the apps that you have access it may be the apps that you created or apps that someone else created and shared with you. And you can create new apps. Here in the new app, we can create Canvas apps, model-driven apps, and websites that are the power pages. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now let's get back to the class and continue learning together. So there are three types of apps that someone can create and we are going to focus on the Canvas app. That's the app for mobile devices or computers where you drag, drop and customize as you wish and you can connect to several data sources. Okay, we are going to explore the Canvas app. Also here we have the learn part where you can find some tutorials that once you click here, it will lead to the Microsoft website, the documentation, and you can follow these paths if you want to learn uh, reading the text and applying the steps that they recommend in there. So keep in mind that you can also find several useful information here. There are more options here to the bottom, but those are more advanced ones and we are not covering it right now in this course because this course is for beginners. So in the next video, we are going to start creating our first app to understand how the interface works. See you in there.